So in this video, I'm going to attempt to share how I built my cathedral ceiling vaulted dormers. Couldn't find anything on the internet. You'll find this video very disjointed. We're going to be jumping around. None of it was filmed in a proper manner. But for the moment, let's enjoy looking from Woodby Island, kind of northeast towards the Cascades, just south of Oak Harbor. Quite a beautiful day. I hope uh, some of the information I share will be helpful to somebody. And let's get on with a very disjointed video. Since I haven't posted a video in quite a while, I thought I'd just do a uh, April update. Looking behind me, we can see the coffee bar and the walls that go up and there is a ceiling and a roof. Well, actually a roof, not a ceiling. And I didn't get a lot into sheeting the roof and putting on the shingles and the skylights because there's lots and lots of videos out there for that. The one thing with this whole project though, that I did not find any information on YouTube. Maybe I'm just bad at searching, I don't know. But I found a lot of videos on how to do an overframe, but I didn't find a single video on how to just do a cathedral style dormer. I'm gonna put together a little montage here of basically pictures that I took, but I'm gonna go over this dormer just a little bit here live on the video. So hopefully I can help somebody who is tasked with this and can't really find the right information. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you don't have to look at my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at the different aspects of putting in a cathedral ceiling or vaulted ceiling dormer. Well, to start with, as you might remember from setting of the trusses, we have the two big girder trusses that go on the left and the right. And so you can see them now on top of the girder trusses, you have to frame a wall. Now, the almost impossible hard part is, what's the elevation of that wall? With a 612 pitch, coming down from a very obscure location up there. And therein started my problems. So to begin with, I had to put a triple 2x12 beam Ooh, goes across right there and you can see there's a Simpson hanger right where it connects. There's the header goes across the top of the window. Got that in today. Those very expensive brackets up there. Got that in today. Whoa. Triple cord beam. And the header that goes in on top of the other window. Come back this way. Around. So up in the middle of that will be the uh, crease thing. One end goes up there on that one and the other end goes up there on that one. So now I'm going to go ahead and crank it up. So now you can see I have it cranked all the way up in the air. It was lined up, but the wind started blowing a little bit and this thing spins very freely. I can't really, um, yeah, you can see it right there spinning in the wind. I can't really reach up and do anything about it. 
But this end here is just a little bit higher than my bracket up there. So talk about something that's very tippy. Man, is it tippy. All right, I'm gonna go climb up there and set it in place. So here's the beam finally in place. And let me just tell you, it was a battle to get it there. There's my little cradle and then it goes over and it sits down on that guy there. And I got to figure out what Simpson hardware I need to uh, make this all up to code. Anyway, ah, kind of a look down the roof right there. Right here, I'm just going to include a little screenshot of what the engineer drew so that you can see the uh, Simpson brackets that are called out, the numbers. The skewed brackets have actually been changed. They have an update, which is much better, but hopefully this will help somebody who's trying to figure it out on their own. And from there, we have the little three pronged I guess Simpson hanger that attaches now my beam is exactly 12 foot long so the distance between my dormers or my girder trusses is 12 feet so the ridge beam for the dormer is the center of it anyway is exactly six feet so my next problem was how do I figure out where this angled board Sets in here and comes down, and where does it hit? Well, I know the top is gonna follow the 612 pitch of the girder, and it's six feet from the center out, so I had to drop, plumb down from the beam, so I basically screwed a two by four and dead center on the beam and got the thing perfectly plumb and then measure over six feet until I found the exact point where that, it's a, basically a valley truss or a valley rafter would go. And once I got that established, now I had the bottom of that valley rafter and that became the plane for the two by 12s. And from there on, I could figure out what height by leveling over to build the triangular walls. Sounds easy when I explain it. Six feet over from a plumb line, planing with the top of the girder truss. But for some reason, it took me a while to just figure all that out. So then, once I got my triangular wall built, putting up the rafters was a piece of cake. Just a 612 pitch on the top, come down to a 612 pitch and I took and cut a three and a half inch tail that stuck out. You can see the little uh, two by four tails I have sticking out off the end of my rafters um, had I had long enough 2x12s I could have done the whole thing in one piece I had to extend them with 2x4s you know in hindsight I probably should have just had a shorter overhang rather than a 24 inch overhang would have solved some problems this will get incorporated with other videos that I took at the time basically I took the videos for my friend so I could send them to him. His name's Ken. You'll hear me say, so Ken, this is what I got done today. And I'm going to try to piece these guys together and do a little talking over myself and see if I can um, make sense. So if anybody else has to build a cathedral style dormer, such as this one, let me just show you this. Looks pretty cool. then um, maybe I can help 
now that I've done one, it's very simple, but boy, when I first started working on it, I was a little perplexed. I kept thinking, you know, it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. But then I had a realization, I've never done this before. It's not gonna come back to me. Search YouTube. Couldn't find anybody on YouTube doing it. I wish I had taken better videos, but it was freezing cold, middle, middle of winter, wind was blowing. And honestly, I just wanted to get this roof on before my floor got ruined. Because so I did this whole roof um, by myself. I don't think I actually got anybody to help me do anything. And that was... Uh, that was a big project. So I'm gonna go and start piecing together videos and see if I can uh, make this whole thing make sense. I did have help setting the trusses. That everybody knows. This little cradle I made to put the uh, rafters up worked pretty well. Put them up at the angle. Became my other set of hands. And just a little picture here of the compound angles coming down. Uh, 612 on the long, and I forget what the angle was, but skill saw cut it. So I'm going to make a little video here of the jig that I use for setting my uh, rafters. We'll see if I can maybe get out the daylight here. There we go. So... Uh, Ripped a board about one inch, and then I have a little spacer, and then that sits right on top of the peak because the points always stick up just a little bit above. So you can see how that stuck onto the bottom. That way when I set it up there working by myself. So just a little picture my wife took. I just didn't want to take the time to video because I was so stressed about the floor getting covered but it all worked out. The floor is perfectly fine and everything is okay. Thought I'd uh, show you my ingenious way, or I guess ingenious, of getting those sheets up there by myself. Once again, creatively using the panel lift that I bought to hang sheetrock. I had to put little keepers on the hooks so that I could keep it tilted up enough that I could get it through a slot in the roof that I could get up top and grab it. I like the little uh, DeWalt screw gun hanging around the neck trick there. I used screws to kind of set everything in place because it was easier while I was fighting the sheets not to have to have an air hose that invariably gets wrapped around your foot and it's hard to get roped off when everything's in flux like this but it worked out just fine well I hope this video was helpful I know it was very uh non or let, let's see the continuity of the video was very off and i apologize but today i'm going to order the triangular windows that go above you can see i have those windows in there we'll do a little spin around and that's going to be a door and we have windows up there so I hope everybody's having a great week and I'm going to go ahead and try to get this video posted. This will be Stinging Metal Farms signing out.